cats, graceful and selfish creatures. There are many breeds of cats, no matter whether some were created by nature or by geneticists. All of them are wonderful. Today, we are visiting the International Cat Exhibition. There, we will see the most famous breeds of cats and meet their owners. If you still don't love these little balls of fur, taste differ, you will probably fall in love with them after watching today's episode. The largest cat in the world, at 60 centimeters high and weighing around 15 kilograms, will most definitely not leave you indifferent to these four-legged felines. By the way, the first cat show in the world was held in London, England on June 13, 1871. Garrison Weir was the founder of the first feline exhibition. He is known as the father of felinology, having developed the concept of cat breeds. He divided cats into several categories according to length of their fur, their color, and overall figure. At today's exhibition, we will have a chance to see the great difference in cat breeds, such as the Britannico and Scottish, the Egyptian Mao and Sphinx, the Maine Coon and the Devon Rex. The preparation for the exhibition is a long drawn out process, but we've had wonderful results. He's only 10 months old, but he weighs 9 kilograms. Later, he will grow bigger and bigger because these cats possess a powerful muscular system. This breed has to be constantly on the move. Just look at its strong forepaws. There's fur between the digits, which enables this cat to safely walk on snow without getting stuck in it. This cat has a great undercoat, a long tail, a pedigree head, and a well-shaped body contour. Its huge and bushy ears are typical for the Maine Coon breed. Отличная породная голова с четкими совершенно линиями, огромные огромные уши и совершенно нереальные, просто нереальные кисточки на. An international judge with many years of experience, Mariana Jiralova rates the cats by certain breed criteria. She carefully examines each body part of the cat because even the smallest deviation from the breed standards means immediate disqualification. This breed is really strong. It's hard to breed such cats. At such exhibitions, we rate the animals by all the standards. Maine Coons can have all kinds of problems. For example, their gigantic bodies often affect their spine. We watch them very closely. If you decide to bring a Maine Coon into your home, be careful, and consulting experts on cats first comes highly recommended. The judge emphasized that the exhibition also accepts ordinary, non-pedigree cats for participation. In any case, if your cat is without a breed, you should visit the club, where you will be given consultation and advice on what you have to do. We're happy to see such cats at our exhibitions. They win a lot of awards, too. We rate them for their beauty and gracefulness, as well as for their ability to show what they can do. Many contestants have competed for the Best of the Best award. Maria, with her pet, a Scottish Fold, looks to win the prize because her cat has a rare fur color. My girl has a unique color, a mix of white, black and red. The tortoise color is almost exclusive to female cats, while males with this color of fur are extremely rare. There are only a few male cats of this coloration. Cats of this breed are gentle and sociable, which is perfect for families with children. They are not capricious and don't require any special care. These cats breed kittens of different colors. That's what makes breeding them so interesting. The Scottish Fold is the result of a sudden mutation. It appeared in 1961, the first kittens having been born in the county of Perthshire, Scotland. This breed took a lot of time to develop. At the moment, this is an independent breed, for which long-eared cats and cats with straight ears are mated. It used to be common to mix them with Britannical cats or even Persian cats, but now it's forbidden. The Scottish Fold is a breed with unusual ears, which are bent down and forward. That's the reason some owners of this breed have questions about how to take care of the cat's ears. 
ушки, в принципе, их надо, можно иногда протирать лосьоном специальным, да, по мере загрязнения. То есть, но если животное живет в домашних условиях... If the ears get dirty, they need to be cleaned with a special lotion. If the animal is living in a house, frequent bathing and ear cleaning is undesirable. Shedding is seasonal. If you take good care and feed them well, fur will not shed. Скажем так, если животное здорово, нормально себя чувствует, за ним хороший уход, то шерсть не будет сильно опадать. Irina has bred Scottish Folds for five years now and is presenting one at the exhibition. Her first cat was an Angora, and then there was the Scottish, and then she got another cat, and another. Now I have six adult cats at home. Besides the Scottish Folds, I have three Maine Coons. They play with each other and get on well with children. And the girl smiles when asked how she manages to feed this gang. These six kitties eat a lot. When they have kittens, they eat even more. They can eat five to six kilograms of meat per week, plus dry food, cheese and dairy products. This cat is an invaluable discovery for people with allergies to cats. Maxim came from Sumi with his wife to show their pet, a Devon Rex. The breed originates from an ordinary stray cat with peculiar curly fur. These cats don't have fur, but hair. They also don't have an undercoat, so they don't shed. They are popular among those who are allergic to cats. 90% of people are not allergic to these cats. Cats of this breed are often called elves or aliens because of their weird appearance. Also, unlike other cats, the Devon Rex has very short and curly whiskers. They are quite sociable and love people very much. They cannot survive without human help. They don't have whiskers and cannot catch mice or birds. By their character, they somehow resemble monkeys or dogs. Alina's beloved cat, named Brandon, is an Oriental, which was first recognized in 1997 in the U.S. My cat is a color point. They can be either bright or dark. My cat has got a chocolate coloring. His ears and paws are chocolate. Orientals can also have a solid color, which means they are monochrome. They may also be speckled. These are the cats with the most various colorings. В общем, это группа котов, которая обладает самым большим количеством окрасов. Orientals are friendly and love to travel with their owners. Они привязаны к человеку, их еще называют котопес по характеру. They are dependent on their owners and are even called cat dogs. These cats always follow their master. Unlike others, they focus on the master, not the territory. Orientals choose a member of the family, which they consider their pack leader. They don't need any special care. Fur is good. They don't need to be combed out because they have no undercoat. Ни вычесывания, ничего не надо. Шерсти почти с них не сыпется. У них нету подпушка. We also visited a girl who breeds the most special and at the same time the most expensive cats in the world. Наш питомник был зарегистрирован в 2005 году. We started to breed rare and exotic cats in 2005. Our breeding ground is one of a kind in Ukraine. We breed Savannah F1 and Chelsea F1, as well as African Serval, Caracol, and Bengali cats. Olina has loved cats from her school year. Then she bred Persian cats. Later, she switched to Britannical and Sphinx breed. She fell in love with the wild African cat known as the Serval. When she saw a video with these gorgeous spotted cats, she wanted to immediately go out and buy one. I tried to find the cats in Ukraine, but no matter where I called, nobody knew what it was or where to buy it. On some occasions, I even got conned. After sending the money, I never saw the cat, and the money was never returned to me. The first serval Elena bought was from the Czech Republic. Since then, she's been breeding the most expensive cats in the world. When kittens are born, they're blind. We take them away from their mothers and we feed them ourselves. That's not an easy task. Kittens must be fed every two hours, even at night. If they're not taken away from their mother, they won't be tamed. 
These wonderful creatures have been killed for years for their hide, so their number has significantly decreased. Some serval subspecies have been listed in the Red Book of Ukraine for endangered species, but people have quite recently realized that servals are easy to tame and quickly get used to a domestic environment. Servals have to live in private homes. They can't live in an apartment. They need a special room outside for running around during the summer months. Servals can grow up to a meter in length, half a meter in height, and can weigh 8 to 18 kilograms. Just imagine, like a medium-sized dog. But what exactly do these cats eat to grow so large and gain so much weight? An adult serval requires about one to one and a half kilograms of meat daily, and not just any meat, such as chicken sold in supermarkets. They can only eat homebred little chicks or quails. Male servals can mate with domestic female cats, thus producing hybrids. The savanna is the most expensive cat breed in the world. This is a hybrid which is very hard to come by. Just imagine, a male serval weighs 20 kilograms, while an ordinary house cat weighs 4 kilograms. It's very difficult to get a serval to fertilize a house cat because the former is five times larger than the latter. Moreover, only a few servals in the world are actually capable of doing that. Savannas are known for their high intelligence, calm temperament, and for being curious and active cat. They adapt very well to domestic environment, but they never Nevertheless, need some open space. Depending on the class and sex, the price of a kitten varies from four to twenty-two thousand dollars. The Savannah F1 is a late breed that grows for up to three years. The size? They are not too heavy because their bones are light and they have large paws. Male savannas can weigh 8 to 10 kilograms. It's like a Maine Coon. The difference is the Maine Coon cats are long, while the Savannah F1 is tall, about 45 to 50 centimeters. If you create a list of the most expensive cat breeds in the world, the Chaussee would be second. One such kitten will cost you eight to ten thousand dollars. It's a mix of a wild African cat with a domestic Abyssinian. This breed is quite popular. They grow up like the Savannah F1, but they have a slightly different coloring, from bright red to ashen black. There's also a coloring called grizzly, which is black with occasional streaks of gray. The Chaucey loves water, unlike other cats. Our clients told us that when they are taking a bath, the cat asks to let them inside the bathroom. And when the owner lets them in, the cat jumps into the bath to join their master. And this beauty will strike your imagination. It's the domestic caracal, or desert lynx. A few years ago, the wild predator caracal became an exclusive domestic pet. In the wild, they hunt for small game. They're not dangerous for adults, but they can be a threat for children. If you want to have a domestic cat, you need to sterilize it. As they mature, they become aggressive. So you have to know what you need such a cat for. If it's for breeding, one should understand that their temper becomes worse over time. And if it's just for having a friend, then sterilization is a must. Just like the serval, the caracal is a predator and needs to be fed meat. It requires a minimum of two kilograms of meat per day. While an African serval weighs 15 to 20 kilograms, the caracal can weigh up to as much as 30 kilograms. They are indeed very large cats. One cannot imagine human life without pets, our loyal four-legged friends. They keep our homes safe, protect us, cheer us up, and heal us. Each of us wants to have a faithful and loyal creature beside us, which would bring us only love, happiness, and never betrayal. These creatures are animals, our lesser brethren, but the ones we call friends. But you should always remember that just just having such a friend is not enough. You have to be a loyal friend, someone who would never harm your pet.